Got a question today from a Camtasia Windows user who was trying to spotlight some action in a video. Happened to be a prosecuting attorney and the sample content that they gave was here. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit here. Uh, let's go to 75%. And uh, the incident in question was suggesting that drugs were being thrown out of a window. Okay, And uh, they wanted to be able to spotlight that on Camtasia uh, for Mac. So I'm going to do a couple things just to make this uh, more obvious. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, zoom in on the timeline a little bit. Uh, so that we can see the video. And then uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a spotlight. I'll put the link to where you can get this spotlight if you like. But the spotlighting is going to be happening just before uh, the item goes out the window. And it'll end um, probably when it's going off the screen. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to start right about there. So I've got uh, this spotlight here. This spotlight was intentionally made very large so it can cover a lot of the screen. Uh, I'm going to go back to 25% here and you're going to see why in a second because as I drag this onto the screen I'm going to be focusing on just uh, something around there. Okay. And uh, but this looks a little bit goofy this way. So uh, we're going to grow this out quite a bit. And then we're going to get back around to moving this on top of the screen, kind of around there. All right, so we've got it in the right place now. Um, and then obviously it's going to go out of there. Uh, but we'll, we'll move it in a second. The other thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull back the spotlight a little bit. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Looks good there, 65, whatever, some percent. Uh, and then as we move it down, you're going to see that uh, the spotlight is no longer in the right area. So, okay. Now it's time to put an animation on the screen. So uh, you can do that either with uh, edit, whoops, sorry, modify and add animation or just hit uh, shift A. Okay. Uh, and if uh, this if the arrow is red, then wherever I move it now is where the animation will end. So I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to bring this, um, and already I can tell that I got to make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. And there we go. So we're good there at the end. But then the question is, well, where is this supposed to be at the beginning? Eh, okay, that's not bad. Um, except that it should begin here okay so now it's in frame up there and now that I can see this a little bit better I'm gonna zoom in uh, to 50% so it fills up this screen and frankly I can give myself a little bit more rooms so by closing out the properties okay so I'm gonna take this animation and I click on it it's uh, a, an orangish yellow color so I know that it's active and that I'm modifying it and there we go. Okay, so we're now in the right spot to start. And I'm just going to go through this ever so slowly. And it starts to move, but obviously it's not tracking it um, so great. So uh, let's do this. Um, let's say about here. I'm going to move it from where it is now to where it is there. And look at what happened here on the timeline. It made two uh, animations out of one. So, not bad. I'm going to make sure it tracks it a little bit better, even in the middle there. I'm going to track that one up there. So, one more time. Good. We're tracking down reasonably well. So we're tracking down reasonably well, although we're not keeping up with gravity. So I'm going to simply move what's on the screen. It's going to create yet another animation arrow. So here we go. Not bad, although that's a little bit fast, actually. So I'm going to pull that one back there. And you, can, you get the idea, right? So at this point, I can keep uh, creating them until 
I'm reasonably comfortable uh, with how this is going to end. And, uh, and then I've got my spotlight that goes on and off. And if I want to get a little bit fancy here, I can go to the transition so that I can fade this in and out. Um, the transition that I want is simply the, uh, the simplest of fade. So I put one at the beginning and, uh, and I can add another one here at the end. And, uh, and then it's gonna, it, sorry, it'll fade in. There we go. So that's how you do it. Hope that helps.